cool looking Slytherin symbol. So that wasn't the normal Slytherin symbol, was it? Maybe it was because it was like Sharper, as that's what I'm used to saying. Nah, the badger was definitely different too. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but I am that best, I seems more that symbol. appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Okay. Ready for the sorting ceremony? yourself to meet the headmaster Fig nice of you to join us the sorting ceremony is over there were complications complications it seems the goblin problem Enough. has goblins I've no time for rumors Fig and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left if you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Okay. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. I wonder if he reacts based on the house I am. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart, exceptionally daring, undaunted by the unknown, willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. All right. And I will accept the house. Better be Gryffindor. All right. Nice. I'll this off for now. As soon as I get the next chance, I'll send it to my rope. To oh, the, uh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned okay. flying altogether. But don't tempt me. 
You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. <coughs> Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see okay. to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Sure thing. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sent. I don't know all the details they you have on this. I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. Okay. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Nice. Got started. Welcome to Hogwarts. How do I? I'm trying to find out how to access the cosmetics. Guess I should have read that thing a little better. <clears throat> we'll turn down the music for now. That way it's not overpowering. <clears throat> hmm. I guess I'll just continue in these cards for now. Hmm. Now, which way is the common room? We gotta find the common room. Must be down that way. Level 11 lock. Level one, though, why can't I get it? Rebellion. Or do I need a the spell? Might be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Oops. Just can't talk to either one of them. 
must need a different spell for that. Seems there's plenty of people to talk to around here. It'll be the next butter bear. Gareth Weasley. Sure, you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Oh, okay. Must be nice. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, oh, she means okay. well, and she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. What's that in your mug? Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Do you have a knack for potions, too? Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Hmm. Nice to meet you. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Okay. I think I'll introduce myself to you last. You seem a little busy. Half chest place. Oh, perhaps I should. Cressida Bloom. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Statue is, is moving, but the painting isn't. Professor That's a little different. <laughs> Studied with him. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? I seen a goblin do it. Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Just need a bit more practice. Sure you'll get it. Don't worry. You'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. How hard is it to cast non-verbally? Is it really spells? that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> Can most students cast non-verbally? Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Wish you luck. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. 
Okay. I've no doubt that nearly anywhere it's down with wings. The professor could arrive. I'm sure you use them. <laughs> Expire. Oh. I hope the professor catches us. That was this time, Nelly. Oh, that is Nelly. I don't want to the first day. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things what? in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower. From the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yeah, there are some goblins too. It's true. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. Uh, what are people saying about my travels here? What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped no, the jaws of a dragon. Now. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. Not afraid of heights, are you? I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. Interesting. Have you ever encountered a dragon? I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I think. Hmm. Nice to meet you. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. How is that bug? You never like... know. Well, Bye I mean, for now. Was someone doing that? New Gryffindor. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. I eat an apple. All right. Good morning. More to the I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming yeah, of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What's this? What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Okay. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk no, with me and we shall put it to the test. Nonverbal spell casting. Unless like putting things away in a pocket is this way. normal. 
The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! How do I access the guide, though? Aha! The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. Portrait of Barufio. Guide pages. This portrait depicts the wizard Barufio, famed for his brain elixir and as an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. Just unlock the field guide. Field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Oh, now I can open it. Okay. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increasing your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Field guide pages. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Okay. Inventory. Black leather gloves. Cool. Get gloves. Face wear. Hat. Flat cap. This item has no magical properties. So value is 30 though. We'll keep it on for now. Natural beige scarf. Traditional school robe. Cannot upgrade offense zero. Well appointed to self value zero. Interesting. Gear. Uh, inventory. I see, I can go to challenges later. Pages. Already taken care of that one. Okay, so these are everything I have to unlock. Settings. Hmm. It is still not explaining to me how to change into the stuff I unlocked from linking my account. Inventory maybe? No, I checked inventory. Come back to it. Revelio. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Maybe for now. But I see other things around. Uh. See if 
chest there. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Okay, but I can still take the money, right? Rebellion. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flute ah. frames to get around a bit quicker. Sweet. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Yep. Central Hall. Like South Wing region to continue. Flue flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house, common room, gray flue flames to reveal location. Okay. So the map, is this where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses? Select library annex region to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flue flame for you. Use AD to rotate. Thumb up and fast travel to Central Hall Flu Flame. Okay. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. You can get almost Rebellion. anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. I can never get enough of the castle. Central Hall, cool. Something down Always there. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Do you happen to have any Valerian Springs? That should be all for Ooh. now. Okay. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Okay. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace nice. the supplies you lost on the way here. Can you tell me more about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard Professor and a Ronan. talented teacher. Okay. And what about Defense Against the Dark Arts? Can you tell that me more about the useful. Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. I wonder if I can become an aura. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Mm. I think I can trust you. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins, and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. 
Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. <laughs> you seem to have provided our new fifth ear with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. <laughs> I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Yeah. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Okay. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Field and guide, okay. invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. <laughs>